हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज सोफियो गोयल एंड टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट द एच टी एम एल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो फ्रेंड्स आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू क्रिएट दिस एच टी एम एल एंड सी एस एस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज विच विल हैव वन वीडियो ऑफ एच टी एम एल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड अराउंड टू वीडियोज ऑफ सी एस एस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सिंस लाइक मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर आस्किंग टू क्रिएट अ वीडियो ऑन दिस सो आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू पुट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन टू दिस बट इफ यू आस्क मी ऑनेस्टली mostly like uh, not like mostly i would say like uh, in major portion html is not asked in interviews like if there is a designer interview like where you need to you know know more about the css part or even if it is about javascript and you need to know scripting a bit uh, let's talk about the design one first where you need to know css so there mostly like 80 to 90 percent part css is as only like 10 20 percent is your html portion if it is about uh, html css and javascript then again you know they try to focus more on the css and javascript part not on the html part and if they, they you are into this uh, bigger frameworks like react angular or something or maybe full stack development or something like that then it is like asked very very minimum but the thing is technology has a weightage okay so if you have cleared the complete the complete like 100% css and 100% javascript part in the interview but you are lacking in that 10% of html only then that could cause rejection and that is why you need to know html the second uh, basic reason of learning and understanding html is uh, like as per me is that uh, the whole website structure is made of html the whole wireframe is made of html and for that purpose it would be really great if you can learn it as much as possible now html is and css both have you know these small small things like a lot of elements attributes properties and a hell lot of stuff is there uh, for example even if i pick up a part uh, like a form which is a part of html right so that form will also have like hundreds of properties and the questions could be asked around these properties if somebody is you know into too much of html so here in this basically i will try to cover the most asked questions of html or like the things which are mostly asked to check even if you know a bit about it or not but if it is an in depth interview and you know the interviewer or the company really needs you to know a lot about html then i would really recommend you to learn to go through it thoroughly at least to you know know something about everything every element or every tag that is being used obviously you can say know about few things like i have not used it or i don't remember it that is okay but you have to know you know most of it and you know just try to check a website out uh, just try to check something out and uh, you know try to create a page uh don't uh, look into the developer tools and check out the html for that try to create it by yourself try to you know design the structure and then do some designing there with css in that way you know you will be more dynamic and more able to understand everything thoroughly but still uh, apart from all that like maybe you are really good with html really good with css and you have a lot of experience and you know you are doing really great and you have so 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 good knowledge of javascript and concepts and everything but what happens is after reaching this level we tend to forget about the basic stuff like we tend to forget some differences about some stuff we tend to forget some things and uh, whenever these questions come in the interviews we are really confused like what to answer or what used to be the difference i don't remember any more so and and that could again uh, could again cause uh, rejection so uh, these again these are the most as interview questions and if you go through it i i think it will be really beneficial for you so friends uh, please subscribe my channel uh, to get more about these you know interview questions and informative videos and please try to go through the complete video so that i can explain you about these questions and i i can explain you everything there okay uh, so let's begin and also please excuse me for looking into my laptop because i cannot memorize all the questions and i have written it down here only fine so yeah uh, finally let's begin okay so the first question is what is the key difference between html elements and tags so obviously yeah uh, we need to know like we have elements and tags in html and uh, what exactly is the difference uh, the next question is should we have more than h1 tags 
now one thing is could we have more than h1 tags yes you can put as many as you want but should we have it or not that is the main question and if no then why why if we should not have more than one h1 tags in the whole uh, page okay uh, the other question is i think this is a kind of old thing now uh, but still like html5 has been introduced long time ago but still people tend to ask like what are the new elements or what is the new stuff that is introduced in html5 and then there you need to tell about you know these tags that are introduced more like uh, more about the structuring that is done in html5 and a lot of new stuff is introduced like in forms and everything there are a lot of enhancements uh, you can just simply talk about that and tell them about it uh, these questions are mostly asked to know like whether you have some knowledge around it or not or maybe the interviewer is looking to pick some questions around whatever you say so yeah uh, you know think wisely and then answer about it the next question is like what are the new form elements in html5 so as i said that uh, there are uh, major enhancements and forms in html5 so yeah that could be a question uh, the next question which is asked like i could mark a star around it uh, it is like a difference between semantic and syntactic elements in html5 and this is like uh, this is very bad for me because i usually get confused about these with the names and everything so but it would be better to you know brush it up before the interview the next question is difference between canvas and svg so again it is around html5 and what is the difference uh next is what is the difference between class and id attribute so this is a fairly simple thing if you are doing a, even a bit of programming you know about it next is how is dom rendering done in html like uh, by the browser not in html by the browser so it is like about the understanding it in depth like how dom is rendered and uh, there are the script tags and the style tags above it so like uh, do all the uh, you know scripts and styles are downloaded does it render everything before starting uh, to render the actual dom so how it works so there could be a lot of questions around it i would really request you to please have an in depth knowledge and what happens what is the case in what case what is going on exactly so that that we need to know now uh, the next question that is related to it is a uh, difference between async and defer so this is used in the script tags and obviously this uh, determines the rendering like it whether it should be held or whether it should be rendered or like these you know these are the situations and conditions in which it should be uh, rendered so now the difference between the async and defer attribute uh, the next thing is what are the different ways of adding style so there are uh, three ways of adding styles and you know you can just uh, tell about it uh, the next question is what is responsive web design so like you might know like if you are uh, designing for different different uh, things like mobile tablets uh, computers big computers tvs and everything so if uh, if your website has this capability of fitting everywhere and working fine everywhere so that is a part of responsive web design so this is not exactly a part of html uh, neither a part of css this is a general thing like you should know about it uh the next question is uh, what is doc type what does doc type html do so uh, like there is this tag in the beginning doc type html so what is the use of that why is that introduced and uh, why do we need that uh the next question is uh, can a page have multiple headers and what about the footers so like can a page have multiple headers or can a page have multiple footers so yeah can we have it uh the next question is what is the use of meta tags so uh, you might have seen that meta tags in in the you know header part of the in the head of html and what is the use of these tags and there are different different meta tags there so if you can uh, you should remember about these meta tags like especially the main ones uh which one is used for which purpose and and why it is used there so yeah what is the use of that now again that uh, other thing is what is the difference between attribute and property in html so i mean I, these kind of questions i find stupid but people really ask them a lot so better to know about it the next question is what is iframe and how it works like uh, what is the use of iframe and, and uh, you know what what will be the best use case for it and how it works next question is what is the use of alt attribute in images 
so now see this is one of those things as i said to you that there could be a tag or something and there could be a lot of properties associated to it so you know people try to ask about that all attribute in images there could be what is the use of src attribute in images you know so uh, in this way people can ask a lot of questions to you even you know you can set some this uh, inline styles there in html also people try to ask about that as well so some things have you know like even with the links you have these href tags and everything href uh, attributes and everything so people can ask about that also so for that practice is required fine the next question is what is the self closing tag in html okay uh, the next thing that comes that is uh, i would say somewhat related to html5 I, i consider it more related to javascript but someone has asked me uh, earlier so i am just covering it uh, so people you know try to ask about like what is a uh, geolocation api and how to use that and the next thing could be uh, what are web workers and how to use it in you know how to use it what is the use of web workers so honestly i would say i seriously don't find it much related to html it is mostly about javascript code and how it is done there but one time an interviewer asked me about this question like this is a very common question uh, different html5 attribute so i have told him about all the structural stuff the form stuff and uh, you know different different things that that i could remember svgs and all i have told about it to to that person but he asked me like uh, don't you know anything new related to html5 i, I said i have told you everything he said no like uh, geolocation i said i i, did, I have not worked on it so i said no then he asked uh, web workers i again said no because i have not worked on that he said then what do you know and i was like what <laughs> what is this i i don't think like it is much of a part of html5 which is somebody is looking for but uh, i would still say like and, and the person is willing even to understand it like if i have done it for practicing purpose or i know something about it uh but still i don't think it made makes uh, much more sense there i would never ask it in an interview uh, to to a person whose interview i am taking but again you know to cover all the edge cases i have told you about this so friends uh, that's it about today's video these were my 20 html interview questions that i think would be really really helpful for you and uh, if you want to know about the css questions i have i will be creating two separate videos one with the normal css questions and another with again normal questions but with some some practical questions as well so uh, so if you have uh, learned from this video or if you knew something from this video please uh, give a thumbs up to this please share with your friends who are looking for front end interviews and please tell me in the comment section below if you know any other common questions please tell in the comment section so that it can help out the other people and uh, till then uh, please uh, like share and subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye